Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Warplan, where you're playing as the Axis. Uh, we have finally begun our war versus the Soviet Union. Uh, we've made decent progress uh, in the first turn, uh, or the first two turns. We've uh, taken uh, a little bit in the south, a little bit here, and kind of uh, just south of the previous marches. Pushing Perry fairly hard near the former border of the of former Polish border. I um, want to try and get to Minsk as quickly as possible. It looks to be a pretty weak defense line there. They went heavy in the Ukraine, so I'm hoping that our army group north and kind of northern center area can push across up here and then sweep down south along with this force here, cut off the Pripyat, and hopefully cut off the Ukraine quickly. We'll see about that. Uh, we've definitely, well, we've finished off the Medi uh, most of the Mediterranean theater. Uh, Cyprus is being taken, Crete's been taken, uh, North Africa's ours, uh, Rock's ours. Uh, we're about ready to declare war on Iran to push in to get oil reserves uh, and to open up another front versus the uh, Russians. Uh, to do so, we're getting what's left of Africa Corps into southern Iraq to push in to get these uh, resources as quickly as possible. So yeah, we got that. We also have a lot of the Italian Africa forces uh, here. I'm not sure what I want to do with them yet. Uh, I might redeploy some of the air wing up either to support the attack down here or into Europe to support the uh, to support the attack into the Soviet Union. We also have a reserve, a pretty hefty reserve of Italian forces here, including a tank division, or a, a tank corps that we can probably move over and uh, get over there quickly would be nice. Uh, we can also start, because they have plenty of fuel now, we're gonna get some air forces down here to help support the bombing of Malta, to try and weaken them up for an eventual attack into Malta, which is the plan. So yeah, you know, we've got a lot going on right now. Uh, some subs there. We took some losses for the Italian Navy uh, against a uh, British naval force that was uh, interned in Athens, that was originally down here in Alexandria. Uh, but we have done a decent amount of damage to them, um, hoping that we can take Malta. That, gives, that makes sure they have no ports, and then they are just bombing targets at that point. So we'll see. Uh, and we're also on our way to taking Scarpa Flow. It's, at this point, it's just uh, us kind of waiting to uh, to break them. Uh, we have uh, damaged them quite heft, uh, quite uh, heartedly. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next turn. Okay, some naval bombing of the Romanian Navy. The Soviets seem to be pulling back to the Pripyat. reinforced the area around Kiev quite heavily. Alright, I forgot about Finland. Finland needs to start uh, getting its forces together. Okay, breakthrough advancement, heavy armor advancement, convoy attack, got some, yeah. Supply source for the... Uh, we'll have you fall back. We will air drop in supplies here. 50%. And we will continue bombing this force with what we have. Yes, okay. How did they gain back a point? Okay, these subs will move out.
These subs have a very good range, so I'll just have them go to the Labrador Sea. I'm thinking... Can we make another attack, maybe? Well... It's not going great for first Volschmeager core. Defend. A couple more turns for another for Black and Core. Five more turns for a motorized. Five more turns for a lot of shipyards to be done. Italians have a lot of landing ships being made. Something I'm thinking about. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Next turn, we invade Reykjavik and we take Iceland. Okay, that's good. Now it's time to start garrisoning the French coastline. Just in case the Americans decide they want to uh, do so. We're definitely going to have to have another run because these two will go here. We're still missing one more port in uh, the uh, La Roche. I'm not good with French. Not going to try. Not even going to try. Let's go ahead and start bombing these Brits here. Move the Italian fleet back here. Get the rest of Cyprus under our control. There. Have you move up the line. You just go normally. Yep, just keep moving up. Everybody move up the line. Yeah, they're making an assault down here, which is good, actually. I kind of want them to do that, because I want them to, to push in a little bit more. Uh, so we'll fall back a bit. Just give them a line that they actually have to fight against. So they'll try and push. That'll draw them in, and then we can try and cut them off. So that's good. Okay, now let's see about defeating these guys. There you go, they surrender. And we just keep pushing forward. Making great gains right now. them back there. Let's move our birds forward. Okay, we can kind of cut them off here, which gives us the ability to potentially know, do some damage. these two division or these two core okay they're completely cut off now which is good for us all right and we got two tank core are ready to go once we see an opening to make a dash down this plane here once we see it a little bit more cleared uh, but we can go ahead and uh, make an attack here Not the best attack okay there we go 
They are completely surrounded. And they surrender, so that's another unit gone. Alright, making good progress. Making good progress. Your command up there. Your command up there. Okay. So yeah, we're pushing forward. Trying to cut off as much of the Ukrainian uh, front as possible. And then we're pushing forward here so that we can try and just catch them as we push towards Minsk, which is still pretty light. Uh, they're moving around a lot up here. Uh, and the Finnish, let's have them just try and cut off uh, Murminsk from supplies. Just have that done there. We'll have all these units just kind of forward deploy themselves. Okay, that'll give them something to think about. Yeah, no, not there. All right. Just did want to check something, so we got that. Yeah, we're low on logistics. Ground support. Logistics 60 required. We don't have any ground support here. We need more... T we can make more tactical wings. Low support. Make one more. Hopefully we can continue bombing this unit into the dust. It's the hope. I want to try and take Scarpa Flow and have it out. Just not have to deal with it anymore. Uh, we're also going to have this light unit move in, reinforce the Italian Navy. Okay. Now, these units don't have the ability of moving on the rail, so we'll just have them walk it. As they move to positions along the Iranian border. Okay, so that's just a single area. Let's go ahead and have you right there. Move you over, you'll start bombing this fleet because it apparently has no agency anymore. Yeah, I think you've already done yours. Okay. You've also done yours. Let's go ahead and get a heavy tank destroyer unit just to make you extra deadly. Alright. Well, I think that's the end of that turn, so let's go ahead and end the turn and see what happens. <sighs> Pardon me. U.S. declares war on Portugal. Oof. That's not great. We have a lot of Italians that we can shift over there that were in the east, uh, western Alps. So we can, we can send them over. Or I guess on the former French border. So it looks like uh, the Americans couldn't get to, couldn't get into North Africa. They were just going to declare war on Portugal. Try and get to Gibraltar that way. Oh yeah, they're going heavy down south. That's good, that's good. Okay, a little counterattack there. Against the mountain core. Okay, there's no supply. No supply. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Supply successful. So just keep bombing it. it. Comes down to it, we might just lose this Volschmjäger to to fighting. I'd be okay with that. What we really want is uh, maybe a marine 
unit to come in. Okay, and you're supplying that. There we go. Yep, lost it. But I'm thinking... Go ahead. Get you... Over there. That'll we get a really big division, a really big core kind of setup. Be the other thing I would think of. Okay. One second. Let's see. Iceland, 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 Iceland. Iceland has not been invaded. They are part of the Allies, though, so. Alright, Iceland. Goodbye, Iceland. Okay, subs are still good. Yeah, it's a shitload of naval forces coming in. Alright. Spanish will have to take over control of Gibraltar as the Germans move to support Portugal, which are now our new allies, apparently. So, we've got that going for us there. Uh, let's have you come down here to support. Okay, and the Italians. Looks like you're going to Lisbon. Okay, we're gonna need to shift them this way. So they gotta start walking. Try and stay on rail lines though, so we can get more of them over. Okay. So there are still a couple of... Uh, okay, Minsk is still fairly undefended. Trying to remember where I lost that... Yeah, there he is. He got pushed back a bit by an attack, but it wasn't that bad. Okay, let's go ahead and hit that tank unit. Yeah, okay. So you three... That tank unit pushing back enough. Secure a fairly decent front line here. will continue to be in reserve until we can get a, a substantial breach in the line. Okay, there we go, got that. Okay, there we go. Hungarians are doing their jobs. We pushed them back. We've got a straight line here. We got these guys we got to deal with. Okay. Dealt with them there. Uh, let's go ahead and soften them up a little bit. There we go. And softened up. Another unit that's cut off, that no longer exists. Can't be cut off if you already retreated. <laughs> or you cease to be. Okay. We've already gone through our oil reserves, apparently. Could have had something to do with the bombardments and stuff here, so we're going to have the uh, fleet pull back when we get a chance. 
Another air unit. Okay. Keep you there. You're doing okay. Swap out that Italian unit. Move them over here to help shore up this line. So the, looks like the Russians are trying to use the, an armored spearhead to break on through, but they're just going to hit mountains here while we're making a push towards Kiev. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not going badly, actually. Decent attack here just to stop them from potentially using anything against us. Uh, the Italians have plenty, so we're going to cease our convoys to Italy. Cease our convoys to Italy. Hopefully we have a decent uh, turn next time. We've got kind of a, an encirclement going on here. We might be able to knock out this line, but then they have a secondary line of armor here. So we might just want to hold and you instead use that momentum to go down this way towards Minsk. Taking Minsk would give us a fairly open avenue towards Moscow right now. Because they're not going to be able to attack much in the Pripyat. And hopefully we can hold in Ukraine while this attack moves forward and kind of closes that. Uh, either way, I am going to go ahead and order a couple of uh, large core. Our one large core. You know, so that one's five turns. We've got more aircraft got a motorized coming in so yeah got plenty and hopefully we can get some more of our various uh tanks together so we can then push against this very weak point in the line towards kiev because once we tank kiev it's a pretty easy way straight down towards uh the black sea and then that would be a huge body of troops we can cut off uh also, let's go ahead and move you there. Next time you can move over here, and then you can start bombing these ships. Let's get you over here. Same with you. You just keep marching. Over with you. Yep, for our eventual attack into Iran, which will also give us 30 more oil, which is something that we're kind of needing right now. Uh, can we hit these subs? We can. Okay, so there's three subs there. Okay. We're going to have to deal with the Americans who are making a hearty push into Portugal. I'm hoping that we can hold it into a very small beachhead. They might attack here as well. Uh, but them attacking through Spain isn't that bad, actually. Because at least we have uh, good supplies, uh, supply routes in here. Like, we've got a, a good rail line that we can bring troops in. Uh, so that's good. Uh, taking Iceland will help our subs resupply quickly. Losing the Falschmagers didn't really help much, but we can kind of just leave. If anything, we could probably just leave uh, the um, Scar the Defenders of Scarpa Flow where they're at. I mean, I think it's worth some victory points, but they're dug in like a tick. It's probably better for us just to bypass it. So yeah, uh, let's end the turn and see what happens, and then probably be the end of the episode. Let's see what the Americans and the Soviets do. Okay, Iceland surrenders, that's good. Okay, there goes the Romanian Navy. I want them to reinforce Ukraine even more. I want them to just go heavy into the Ukraine. So that we can close that trap. Because it's very thin on their flank right now. Oh, 
Okay, some fleet supplies are low. Convoy attacking the Pan-American Pan zone. Sinking a lot of convoys. Sending material to the USSR via uh, Arctic convoys. Okay. Might have to... Go ahead and start raiding that. Let's put you back here. First things first as well. I want to start hitting those subs. Okay, sank one sub. That's good. There's still one there, but that's okay. Start bombing them. Okay, sank one. So that's another one down. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're still rebuilding some tracks here. Once that track's done, we'll have a connection all the way down, which we can reinforce that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, still getting tracks set up around here and here. Supply's good, though. Let's see about the American force. Italians will have there. And here. Oh, misclicked. All right. Let's see if we can hit the Americans heavily in their flank here to try and cut off their assault. And it didn't work as well. Just got this line set up here. Try and hold them in position. Let's go ahead now. You take that position. You take that position. This is uh, not garrisoned, but we're kind of stretched thin at the moment. Uh, could probably not garrison Rotterdam, Rotterdam and have you go there. So that's pretty close to another garrison, so we'll do that. Uh, 10th Army HQ. It's a few head down here to support that. There'll be area defense here and here. Ooh, the Americans are coming up here. Alright, looks like we're bombing... Uh, plenty, uh, there's gonna be plenty of naval bombing going on. We got them set up. Oh, yeah. Just bomb them. Okay, they're ready to go, so we can hopefully have Fortress uh, Fortress England going on right now. Uh, I'm also thinking maybe we go ahead and uh, have you... Take... Yourself, get to Belfast, undock, you do the same, just in case. Yeah, we got you set up there, okay. I think that's good. But he's good there, okay. Now we look to the Eastern Front. Uh, which I think we'll get to next time, looking at the time. I forgot we were going to end it there, but 
uh, I always get, I always want to do a turn whenever I see it uh, happen in front of me. Uh, but okay, so thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to, please leave a comment down below. Also hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below as well as taking a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!